<coughs> yes, Pinball Fucking FX3. Um, now, it's been a little while since I did uh, a video that was actually a table review. Uh, I did upload a gameplay video not that long ago of me playing one of the newer tables because uh, yeah since my last table review we've had five new tables released my collection. Uh, the first three are all based on the uh, Jurassic Park films so we have Jurassic World, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park Pinball Mayhem uh, one of those tables is okay, but can be fucking annoying. Uh, one of those tables is okay, but not very memorable. And one of them rivals V12 for being the biggest sack of cunt in the entire game. It is utterly fucking hateful in every way. So, um, yeah... It is, to put it mildly, a mixed bag. Uh, then the other two new tables, everyone knew that these were coming, or at least one of these were coming. Uh, two new Star Wars tables. The first is The Last Jedi, which is the table that I was playing in my last uh, Pinball FX video. And, whoops, then uh, the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Arch Toe Island. I don't know if that's right. More to the point, I couldn't give a flying fuck if it's right. One thing I will say about that table, the Arch Toe Island one, is that uh, it's pretty high scoring. I've only played it about four or five times and my high score is 635,534,405 which isn't bad and that's only my third highest uh, score on all tables I have actually been on a bit of a roll but of course the fact that I'm now doing a video means I'm about to bring that roll to a grinding halt but I've scored, uh, you know, 100 million or more on 43 tables now. It may even be 44. Um, so I, I guess I'm not doing too badly. Um, yeah, so that uh, Archtow Island uh, score is my third highest. Uh, fourth highest is Son, Son, of Zeus. Son of Zeus, where I have uh, 559 million. My, uh, my second highest is uh, on a bit of a surprising one. The Avengers. Yes, the Avengers, 820 million. My collection. Main and my, my collection. highest is back in the Star Wars ones. It's a score I never thought I would get, but it's on uh, Darth Vader. the Darth Vader table. 1,590,670,524. So I didn't do too badly on that go. Uh, in fact, on that one, the last two balls were completely wasted. I had something like three or four extra balls while having that go. But by the time I got to you know, using the last two, it was something like six o'clock in the morning, I was barely awake, I just couldn't concentrate at all, and yeah, I'd been playing the game for what seemed like a fucking eternity, so I wasn't actually that bothered by the fact that uh, I had lost the last two for next to fuck all. Anyway, all of that is a bit irrelevant because uh, I'm not reviewing a Star Wars table uh, for this one, uh, I did actually consider reviewing a table that I liked, um, and then of course I, I remembered that uh, a sizable number of the uh, Pinball FX3 uh, community are a bunch of fucking wankers and can't take any criticism, which makes me think that most of them are probably millennials and therefore any criticism 
they are offended by it. Uh, so I thought, right, I'll offend them some more because if you are a millennial, believe me, I think you are a fucking flesh waste. Um, indeed, yeah, if you are a millennial, um, don't complain about people calling you a snowflake. Because uh, if, if you are offended by being called a snowflake, you really do not want to hear what I fucking call you. Alright, anyway. So the table we are doing is... Alien Isolation. Yes. Alien Isolation. Which is a table that I fucking can't stand. Uh, my high score of 42 million was one hell of an exceptional go. Single player and hot seat. Uh, as you can see, everybody below me on my uh, uh, Steam uh, friends list here, they've all scored less than 10 million. And here I am with 42 million. I mean, obviously I'm nowhere near Blinky, but then I never am anywhere near Blinky. He's always way ahead. Um, so my score is sort of stuck in the middle of nowhere really compared to everybody else's. I'm either way above them or way below them. So I can tell you now I'm not going to get anything like 42 million on this because like I say that was an exceptional go. I was staggeringly lucky to get that score or indeed anything close to it. So let's uh, load her up. So this is obviously based on the uh, PC first-person shooter game. I assume it's available for other uh, games, consoles and whatever. Uh, now I do actually have the game uh, Alien Isolation. I've played it twice and I've never played it since. It is one of the most boring first-person shooter games I've ever played. Uh, thankfully I got it when it was uh, yeah, on a, at a, a sale price because it it's coma inducing. I just think it's absolute shite. So no, I'm not a fan of it. So a pinball FX2 slash FX3 table based on that game. It's got a lot to overcome. Anyway, let's get a game on the way. Now welcome committee. Now the skill shot is to try and get it through the uh, flashing lane that you saw, which I failed spectacularly to do, which is hardly surprising because I've only ever hit it, I think, twice in the entire time I've had Something this game. is closing on you. Great! That's great for getting the uh, consecutive uh, shots from the... Uh, ramps. It was not great because something is closing in on me. It's not safe here. Now I have to try and hide in that uh yeah in that. Uh which is uh to put it mildly difficult to do. Indeed I've never been able to do it. And now it's too fucking late. So I'm about to be mauled. Watch out for hostile activity. Good thing to point that out now. Ripley, are you okay? So we have to hit these fucking enemy targets. It looks Sleep like I've well. started the uh, multiple session a lot faster than uh, I thought I would. Which is fine. Multiple sessions mean that I might be to last a bit longer, even on a table is drain happy as this. I now have to hit the jackpot which is the centre oh, I nearly got it there. Centre target. Jackpot there you achieved. go. And then it starts off the next round of these lot. Sleep well. It's a good job I got the fucking kickback because the usual routine of this table being fucking drain happy as you've oh, just no. seen there meant that uh, 
fact that multiple didn't last Just keep very moving. long. Did you hear that? I'm starting to stealth mode. I do actually need to attack that target, but I have to hit you have to hit them from behind. Which is all very well, but sometimes it's pretty difficult to tell what's the front and what's the back. And this is definitely one of those. Sleep well. There you go. Right, got that one. And the other one's now on the other fucking side. <laughs> Missed it. Right. A supply depot so now region. if I can hit the outer lanes and not do that, Alert. you fucking sack of cunt, I would have been able to uh, try and get in the jackpot. So that going seemed to last, well, by this table standards, a, a, a reasonable amount of time. But uh, I scored less than two and a half million. And there you have part of the problem of this table. There are a lot of very Something high scoring in shadows, Ripley. tables Be careful. in FX2 uh, and 3. And because of it, one of the biggest draws Great. It's for not any table you. is the fact that you are scoring a huge number of millions and then they sometimes put in tables like this, or fucking V12, or Tesla, or fucking, uh... Awesome! We might be in trouble. Enemies, approaching your position. Confidence level is at 100%. Fucking Archer, where the, the tables are really low scoring. All the time. And it makes it absolutely no fun to play. Whatsoever. I have to hurry. So I'm constantly hitting these ramps and scoring well. fuck all four. There you go, so I've got hardly anything actually for that uh, uh that mode. Just keep moving. Now one other issue with this table which affects the uh alien table as well. Is that by trying to hear that? trying to make it or trying to give it a sort of horror uh, atmosphere? It means that there is an awful lot of silence in the uh, like Much soundtrack, better. which just does not work for a, a pinball table. The pinball table is supposed to be loud and you know keep you uh, interested in everything else. And this one, the amount of silence just makes it boring. Sevastopol's a supply depot. So we are getting the. Uh, so I have to hit the outer line. So it says I've got the jackpot. In fact, the jackpot is so I fucking small. That you do sometimes wonder if it's worth even bothering with. And yet again, you don't have time for bouncing this. around, and that Stay focused. instantly means it goes down the fucking side. Just keep moving. Something is lurking in those shadows, Ripley. Be careful. Great! Not safe 
could really do with getting that rewire fucking multi model again. Uh, so again, clamps are engaging. too late to uh, hide in the uh, that, wherever that fucking cabinet is or locker or whatever. Ripley, are you okay? The Torrens is in very good order for an old M class. So Just keep moving. Both kickbacks. One more shot in that fucking center. <sighs> we'll activate the fucking Morty Ball. Which of course means I'm going to fuck it up, which I was sure I'd done there. There we go. Eat this. So I now I've got to shoot all these fucking things. What's that happening out there, Ripley? Trying to aim is a thankless task. Now I've got to hit the centre again to get the uh, jackpot, nice. which is, yeah, 280,000 is a jackpot. Big fucking deal. This. Is there any well, there you go, so that's the that station. now completely fucked up again. Now we're talking. So you get 450,000 for doing that, but 280,000 for the fucking, uh... Outstanding performance. You know, the jackpot in the, uh, multi-ball. Multi Try figuring that one out. Let's try and get it again. Great! Fucked it. Oh, well, I hit it twice. Did you hear that? Which is twice more than usual. More cautious out the fucking middle. Oh yeah, something else I'll uh, point out here. During these videos I will not be using the wizard mode uh, of the wizard power thing anymore, the old that. Because because I don't want to give away when is the best time to uh, use them. So, um, yeah, anyway, so that's the first go. Let's get the review underway, which means I can say this is the last fucking go. And this could well actually be the last time I play this table at all. Um, graphically, yeah, I suppose it looks okay. The trouble is, it's not exactly full of uh, very many Something features. Something is lurking in those shadows, Ripley. A lot Be of the careful. features that are here, such as hitting... Oh, fuck off! What's happening out there, Ripley? It's not safe here. Such as, you know, hitting, um... What are effectively cardboard... Ca oh, you fucking what?! <laughs> so that is why I fucking hate this fucking table. I'm gonna restart that fucking go. Now, see, it would have hit the uh, skill shot there, but it doesn't give you time for the ball to actually get round and actually reach the. Uh, oh, just. There I am. Graphics. Yeah, they're, they're okay, but very bland. Um, there's nothing really in this table that uh, makes you think, yeah, that looks great. Um, audio is. The same. It's done it a fucking game. Uh, yeah, the audio. I mean, for one thing, Watch out for hostile activity. It's, it's fucking quiet yes. a lot of the time. Which just does not work for a pinball table. So again, I'll try and fucking uh, I can't see rewire the multi ball, It's gone, Ripley. Again, the balls are just going to keep constantly fucking draining out the size like they always fucking do. 
No, I'm gonna hit that. Nice. Yeah, jackpot of 180,000. That's fucking generous. How the fuck did I get those two through that this. one pissant tiny little gap? Anyway, as you can perhaps tell, although I'm, I'm doing a really good job of hiding it, um, this is really fucking me off. Right, anyway, so the, yeah, audio covered. It's fucking boring. It's too so fucking the quiet. Boss, a supply depot in the oh, fuck we off. Don't have time for this. And then there's the gameplay. The gameplay is absolutely fucking contemptible shit. Um, I would say it's based on a PC FPS game, and in a sense, it is a pretty good uh, is lurking in those sort shadows, of Ripley. Be careful. You know, pinball version of that uh, FPS game, in so far as parts of it are cone reducing. But then it's also fucking frustrating beyond belief. Great. It is awesome. no fun to play whatsoever. There is nothing that is particularly redeeming about it. The only reason this isn't one of like the top five worst tables uh, isn't because you know it's not among the worst Ripley, it's because are you okay? of the sheer number of tables that are amazingly even worse than this fucking hateful sack of cunt just keep moving um yeah i have Sweet never man. liked this table this is not the uh, oh, frustration speaking this this table has always been a contemptible load of shit. Outstanding performance. And it's never gonna change. It is always gonna be that. Um, is there anywhere safe left on the station? So what do I rate it? Um, I rate it fuck all. Because, say, graphically it is bland, audibly it's bland, and the uh, gameplay is fucking non-existent. Stay focused. So, it's it's a, a table that consists of absolutely fuck all that makes you, you know, want to even play it in the first place. And then on top of that, they make it unbearably fucking frustrating, and you just find yourself despising everything about it within like you know within that fucking happening so yeah this this guy this one I thought I've had more than enough of this fucking shit I hate this table with a passion that is uh, alien isolation this can just fuck off I am never playing this shitty fucking table again Fuck off! Uh, right, that's... And this is review 40. I've still got 35 more to do. Oh, fuck, so that's it. I've got more than 35 to do. God, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, right, here you go. That's this one done.